Now, Realtor.com is just out with this 2017 national housing forecast, which shows a slowdown in the real estate market. We've been reporting that here for you for nearly a year. What is in store for Southwest Florida in this post-election economy? How does it affect us? Our week news expert, uh, real estate expert, Denny Grimes from the uh, Denny Grimes & Company, Keller Williams Realty, here to talk about that. Good morning. Good morning. Things have changed, uh, haven't they? We're in a post-election month right now. So what's going to happen next? What well, do you these, got? these sources should be calling us because we've been talking about we this have for a long been. time. And there's some interesting pieces. Uh, I know the post-election, I'm talking to my customers, my sellers are feeling really pretty positive. And when you read about and hear about the, the carrier thing that's going on in Indiana, that's all positive. So the, the Realtor.com came out with the, the 2017 predictions. I think some of them came out before the election. And so I'll tell you what it really means uh, for us. Number one, they're predicting that interest rates will rise. Well, okay. so they've been saying that for years. Mm -hmm. However, I think this is really true because I think based on the new administration, I think they're gonna have some new policies and our, uh, interest rates are artificially low. I think they're gonna let them trickle up a little bit. So uh, Realtor.com is predicting like four and a half percent. What will that mean if you're <coughs> buying, selling? It's gonna have an impact. It will, not significant for us. It's gonna affect first time home buyers the most, maybe, maybe millennials. <coughs> That's not our primary uh, market. However, it will affect the national economy some. Okay, what's number two? You're talking about slower appreciation? Right. <clears throat> this is what we've been talking about is a shifting market. And so basically what they're saying is in 2016, the national housing market was growing about 5%, which is sustainable. Uh, however, it was going faster than that before that. They're predicting that's going to slow even further. Again, what we have been saying, the shift to the market of something around maybe 4%. Now, that's kind of yawnable for us because we have been, over the last three or four years, we have Naples and Fort Myers has been seeing almost triple that appreciation rate until this year. Hmm. So I think we're going to, in fact, Realtor.com predicts uh, Cape Coral Fort Myers area to be number 66 out of 100. They got Akron, Ohio ahead of us. Really? Yeah, I don't really agree with that so much. That, that seems hard to imagine. Yes. That, that, usually the movement is down here from up there. Yeah, absolutely. In fact, I'm from that marketplace. I'm thinking, I don't think I'd, people want to go to Akron. So we are going to see uh, basically what they're saying that I agree with is our market is going to be uh, around 3% growth, 5% sales growth, relatively flat. I agree with that. However, the, the other piece of this report that I found interesting was the number one market they're predicting for 2017 is Phoenix. And why that stand out to you? Because that's our mirror market. That's our cousin market. Now, basically, because a lot of boomers go there, it's a ri retiree market. The difference is it has an economic engine. It has a lot of economic growth other than tourism and construction, which is our major one. So you take that component away, they're going to grow well because of the baby boomers. We're going to grow well uh, as well. So the bottom line of the 2017 forecast, we are going to perform better than 66 in the top 100 and we're gonna outperform their pro pro uh, projections. I think we'll be in the probably top 10 markets moving forward. Although 2015 or 2016 would have been uh, the peak years and we're gonna start going down a little bit from there. That's not bad news. It is not bad news. And I think basically there's a buzz in the economy right now and there's a bullish feeling. Well, good. Let's hope it helps in our market. Denny, thanks for coming in. Wake News this morning, we'll be right back.